Welcome back to the channel. This video is about creating breadcrumbs with Hugo and Bootstrap 5 using a new page variable which simplifies the process a lot. To get started with this video, you'll need the latest version of Hugo and Visual Studio Code installed and set up. I've got a link above for my Hugo installation video if you need help. After watching this video, you'll be able to use the ancestors page variable to access high level pages. You'd have, be able to iterate using range and you'll be able to create a bootstrap breadcrumbs template for a Hugo project. I'll put the link below to the following bootstrap repository where I've created a simple bootstrap template to get you started. The easiest way to get a copy of this is click on the code button and then download a zip file. Alternatively, if you're experienced with Git, you could use GitHub Desktop or manually clone it with the CLI. Before we start, a quick message from this video's sponsor. As a Skillshare teacher, I've partnered up with them to offer you a free one month trial using my link below. I personally produce full length Hugo courses on Skillshare on a variety of topics, and there are also many other great teachers on Skillshare who are ready to help you level up your skills for your next big project. Click on the link below for the free one month trial you can cancel at any time. Once you've got the project open in Visual Studio Code, we're going to go into the Layouts folder and then Partials, and we're going to create a new partial called Breadcrumbs. And then we're going to go into the baseof.html and underneath header, we're going to place in the Breadcrumbs partial. On the Bootstrap Docs page for breadcrumbs, make sure you're viewing the page for the current version of Bootstrap. If you're not sure, go back to the home page and re-navigate through to the docs because quite often on Google, you will end up on the wrong page. We're going to copy and paste some code for the longest, boot, the longest breadcrumb example. We'll go into the breadcrumbs.html and we'll paste that in and save it and then we'll go down to npm scripts and I've got a dev script there ready for you which will load up the live reload server. The first thing we'll do is we'll add a bit of padding to the left of the breadcrumbs to line them up with the navbar and then we'll go about the logic to generate them automatically. So we'll go into the breadcrumbs.html partial and in the ordered list we'll add the class of ms for margin start and we'll set that to three. And now I've got some space before our breadcrumbs so they're not touching the edge of the screen. I've provided a link to the Hugo Docs page variables page in the description. And if you go down to ancestors, it tells us that we can get the ancestors of each page. So that's all of the high level pages as we go back through the URL. So example, right now we're on page, but the ancestors would be variables and then the home page. And there's also an example of how we can implement it However, this example will not work exactly for what we're trying to do. What we can do is we can copy and paste the range section. And then above the current page, we're not going to touch the current page. It's generated automatically. So we'll paste that in and we'll just format it. You're probably wondering, what does range mean if you're new to Hugo? And range is for looping or iterating. We're going to be looping over the ancestors, that's the pages that are higher than the current page. And we've got dot reverse there to reverse the order so that it appears in the order that we need for our breadcrumbs. And then we have to get our bootstrap code. And paste it in and then we can copy and paste in the Hugo templating code. And then for the current page, we need to put in the title of it. it could be based in title because that also relates to the current page. Then we can delete the two extra ones we've got. And we'll save that and we'll have a look in the browser. So we've got a breadcrumb showing up on home, which I personally don't like. But if we go one level deeper to about, you'll see that we've got the link back to the home page and we've got the current page. What we'll do now is we'll put in some logic so it isn't displayed on the home page. 
next what we'll do is above the breadcrumbs we'll put if not dot is with a capital I and home with a capital H and then we'll put an end tag in below that and that will not display the text inside those two tags if it's on the home page. So now we've got no breadcrumbs displaying on the home page and they're coming up when we go deeper. If you want to do any modifications to it, I don't recommend changing the classes. What you can do is SAS, if you've got a SAS setup, I've got a video on setting up SAS, you can actually change the variables. For example, if you want to change the divider to an arrow, for example, you can change this particular SAS variable and there's a list of SAS variables at the bottom of the file. It's a really quick way to modify your Bootstrap website without changing any of your CSS around. So that's it for the video. I've left a link for the files in this tutorial and also the links to the web doc pages in the description below. If you liked it, remember to hit the thumbs up button and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button so you're notified of my regular coding tutorials.